I'm not going to hold y'all. It's very hard for me to believe. Um, I'm sitting here trying to get through this Briz uh, Rothstein interview. And I really want to believe him because I believed before this incident in my heart of all hearts that he is, he's a stand-up guy. I mean, like, like he wouldn't run on his man. I mean, like, if he did some shit, he would own up to it. That's the vibe I get from him. I'm a fan, you know what I'm saying? I think he's one of the emerg- emerging stars of battle rap. So, with that said, um, I'm not going to front, yo. Like, listening to the first few minutes, it was hard to even get through because I cannot sit through people lying. And maybe because he's so emotionless, I uh, he doesn't sound believable. He doesn't sound genuine. He doesn't really even sound sincere. And um, there's a few key key points that make me feel this way, right? So from what I remember, I have to still keep listening to it. But I wanted to just get this out because I don't want people to think I'm clowning. I made a post saying we don't believe you. We need more people. I just didn't believe him. You know why I didn't believe him? Because he got caught in a lie. Not once, but twice. So, he offers the information to say he doesn't follow him. Right? And he's not following him. Like, he's not looking up his info. How would he know? Yada, yada, yada. Then he goes on to say, well, I do follow him. But I'm not following his every move. Nigga. You a battle rapper. You don't have to search for nothing, but, you know, you're battling him. So, why wouldn't you go to his page? I'm not saying that, that, that you have to go to someone's IG page to find out. But the lie that he caught himself in, he, he decided to, like, let us know down the line that he followed him. But initially, he distinctly said he does not follow him. It wasn't necessary to even bring up about you following him or not. You know, because I know sometimes when I do interviews, I try to last minute go to um, IG pages, but a lot of times I don't end up going to the IG page. I look up other stuff, you know, as far as information and researching who I'm interviewing, you know what I mean? So I can even give him a pass on that. Okay. You didn't go to his page, but you're about to battle him and he's, this is a big deal, you know? So yeah, you don't necessarily have to go to his page looking for dirt, but you battling Mook. But then, okay, let's say that you didn't go to his page. Because I doubt, you know, let's say Mook and Calico probably didn't go to your page either. All right? You can get you can get that. Other part I had the issue with is um, immediately after saying he did not know, he goes on to say, but this is battle rap. So you didn't know, but this is battle rap. So you're basically saying it shouldn't be a problem with you saying it. Now, some people may feel like it's not a problem. The other part I had with that, to me, it's a problem, but people do say things about different people, you know, about people's kids, all types of stuff. But then you go on to say, why does the time frame matter? Maybe you're just disconnected. I think you were at the point where I think you took the interview too soon, maybe. Because I really don't think you knew, you knew what to say or what to do. I do hear maybe a tad bit of remorse somewhere, but more of confusion. Like, you don't know how you got yourself into this shit, basically. But to say that time doesn't matter, time most certainly does matter when someone dies. Specifically a parent. It matters, my guy. I don't know who told you it doesn't matter, you know, oh yeah, you know, on the surface, oh, it doesn't matter if she, if she died yesterday or, or if someone died, you know, six months, you know, six months ago or two years ago. Yes, it does. I don't know who told you that. Specifically, um, specifically a parent, she just died. And I don't want to harp on that because my other issue with this sidebar is that it's becoming it's changing the narrative of the fight. So now it's about the mom line and the fact that she passed away recently. 
that's what everyone's making it about. But why why are we making it about that if Mook ate that? So let's not change the narrative because yes, it is battle rap. And you know why he ate it? Because it's battle rap. So he ate it because it's battle rap. Because you said that. That's why he sat down. Like, all right, these niggas is violating. I'm just going to keep my composure and sit my ass down. Since they want to talk about my mom who just passed away. Fine. Sidebar, I don't believe that you didn't know that. But I'm not saying everybody in the culture knew. Because I made a post about it. A lot of people saying that they didn't know. Cool. People who really tune in probably knew. No, I mean, no. Because... Whether you follow him or not, a couple of media outlets showed him love. They gave him condolences. So if you follow certain media outlets, I think Let's Talk Bat- um, Battle Rap, they um, mentioned it. You know, that's how that's how I knew. And I went and gave and paid my respect on his page. You know what I'm saying? Um, Okay. You didn't know. Let's highlight the bar itself. Now, you just said your mother's a bitch. That's how you start off the line off the off the battle why would that i mean people are saying saying that that's your signature is that your signature i don't know that that's your signature they they're saying that you're like arsenal where you just disrespect okay so then why specifically say that to mook why didn't you say it to cal you know what i'm saying um why did t-top go off and Say, fuck is he talking about? Fuck is he talking about? After that line, like that was some intricate fire haymaker or something. Why we, Why was he going hard? And the crowd went bananas too off that. So I assume that the people, most people in the crowd knew that, knew that they passed too, which is sidebar, some crazy shit, some, some, some whack shit you're going off. Um, I'm just not. I think what I wanted to hear from Briz on some... Then he had the audacity to say he's taking accountability. Where are you taking accountability, Briz? Where are you taking accountability? How? I mean, I'm going to continue to listen to the rest of the interview and see, but I don't hear or see where the accountability is. I think accountability... And then, this is my last part that I did not like. You apologize to his mother? What's wrong with you? Apologize to that man. You a man. You said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to his mother. What the fuck? What does that mean? His mother has passed. I apologize to Mook. Yo, my bad. Yo, I didn't know. I, I honestly I didn't know. My bad. That's it. That is what gets you respect. Real talk. Owning up, that's accountability. Own, yo, my bad, I didn't know. Whether we believe you or not, we can ignore the fact that we think you're lying because you're because you're taking accountability like an adult and saying that my and you're apologizing to that man for the disrespect because you didn't know. If no one told you that, that's what someone should have told you on some real shit. But I'm out before I keep going. Rain rant and I'm out. Chip.